So I managed to take the oil pan off the engine at a kind of a vital consequence. Uh, it cracked right off. Uh, then this middle part was sort of really stuck on the shaft of the crankshaft and I had to cut it in half to get it off. So I'm going to have to make some sort of oil pan for this. So um, let me show you what's going on with the timing because the next step we need to do is we need to um, we need to modify the camshaft timing so that it will work for our new for the new purpose of steam power or air power. Okay, so I'm gonna sort of go through the four-stroke cycle and what's going on right now. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pushing down the valves from the top with the push rod. Uh, this is the overhead valve engine. So this engine will turn to the left. So right now it's at top dead center compression stroke. So now um, the spark plug would fire, would go into the power stroke, and the piston would come down. So the piston's coming down right now. None of the valves are opening. And you can see that this is the camshaft right here. And it has two lobes, and each lobe pushes on a plunger. There's one plunger here and one plunger there. So it's coming down. Piston's coming down. Now as it's about, as it's starting to come up, it will push up. Uh, you see how it's pushing up that back right here? This back um, plunger here, that controls the exhaust valve. So that's, it's coming up, it's pushing out the exhaust because the piston's coming up. Um, now, camshaft continues to move, the load moves past and closes the exhaust valve. Right now it's at the top again. So now what's going to happen is as the piston turns, uh, it's going to go down and now the camshaft is going to open up the intake valve, which is that front one right there. And that valve will intake fuel air mixture. And then right now the piston's at the bottom of its stroke right about now and uh, it's coming up. No valves are opening because it's at the compression stroke right now. Both valves are closed. It's at top dead center compression stroke, and then the cycle continues. So that's the four-stroke cycle. So we need to we need to change that to suit our needs. Okay. So the way we're going to change it is I just pushed up the intake plunger right here. Um, the intake plunger is not going to be. We're not going to be using the intake valve. We're going to be using the exhaust valve only, which is the back one uh, right there behind the spoke. So. Right now the piston's at the top, so we want the steam to come in through the top um, to push the piston downward, which would mean that both valves need to be closed because we don't want that steam to escape. So piston's coming down, both valves are still closed, it's at the bottom of its travel right now. So right now we need the, now we need the exhaust valve to open because we need to push out that used up steam. So, and that's actually happening right now in the back. You can see it uh, right there, pushing up the exhaust valve to let the steam escape. So now, after it gets to the top, um, let me push down this exhaust valve. There we go. After it gets to the top, which is that right now, it needs to have no valves open. So that's fine, we're going to keep going. Notice that the intake lobe would open right now, but I pushed up the valve, um, so it's not going to open at all. So this is good, the piston's still going down. Okay, now it need, it's coming up. And if you notice, probably really hard to see, but the lobe back here is switched around. So we need that exhaust valve in the back to come up again as the piston is coming up. So right now, this exhaust, this is at the top of its travel. The exhaust valve should be open. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, weld our own lobe onto the camshaft so that the exhaust valve opens at this time. And we're also going to grind off the lobe on the intake shaft so the intake valve never opens. So <clears throat> basically all that means is we need to weld another lobe 180 degrees um, from this lobe. So on the other side, we make a lobe identical to it. And um, we need to also either just grind off this or just remove the push rod. 
that'll probably be just as well. Well, it looks like, uh, to my surprise, that the camshaft lobe, the lobes are plastic. So that's going to make this quite a bit harder. The only thing I can think of right now is to actually cut these lobes off weld on my own lobes onto the shaft because the shaft is steel. So that's what I'm going to have to do. <clears throat> okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark with a paint pen where this lobe is facing on the valve I'm about to cut off. So the top of the lobe, if I'm going to look right here, it's facing, it's right here. Okay, now this is where the fun starts. Okay, I'm just going to keep building this up. Okay, it's the right distance out. I'm just going to grind it down. Okay, is it the prettiest thing in the world? Absolutely not. Will it get the job done? I think so. I also grinded off the intake lobe. Uh, like I said, it looks pretty gross, but um, I'm pretty sure it will be it'll be all right. Okay, so we're gonna test this out. Right now the piston's at the top, so we're gonna rotate it. Piston's gonna come down. Should be exhaust valve should not be open. Now the piston. Oh. I gotta hold this. I gotta hold this down because it's kind of ma it's kind of um mangled. Anyway, piston's coming up, and at that same time, exhaust valve is open. Exhaust valve closes. When the piston goes down, piston's down. Now the exhaust valve starting to open as the piston is going up. So um, I think this will work. The only hiccup is um, I need to, this part of the camshaft needs to stay stationary, or else the camshaft kind of cocks upwards and gets jammed. So see a lot. See how that gets jammed. Um, so, and whatever I do with the oil pan, I need to make sure that it has a slot in it to hold this camshaft um, down into position so that it can, because if I hold it, it can rotate freely. So that's one thing I gotta keep in mind. Alright guys, um, I'm sorry I didn't film all of this. I kinda had a lot of stuff to do and this kinda took the back burner. But here it is. Um, like I said before, I broke the oil pan broke, so I sort of made my own with this uh, little piece of steel here, and then I used some angle iron, welded it together to make this stand, and um, I bought a die for the spark plug threads on this engine, and I went to the hardware store, store got some quarter inch pipe, and um, uh, put just a little air chuck on this. This is for later. I plan to modify it where I can adjust the pressure right here um, Right now to control the speed I adjust the pressure at my at my compressor. So uh, What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug the air in and then I'm just gonna turn this and It'll start. Okay. I'm at about 60 psi.
press it. Okay, just for fun, I am putting the muffler on, see if it makes it any quieter. Oh wow, a lot quieter. 